Okay, in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can use simulations and probability. And it's just going to be a brief section that we're just going to talk about, that I'm going to talk about here. A simulation is a technique used to act out a problem by conducting experiments whose outcomes are analogous to the, to the original problem. And here we can use simulations. By using simulations, students typically estimate a probability using many trials rather than determine probabilities theoretically. Okay, now in this one you see the random digits table. Here the digits in this table form a list of digits selected at random. And it's often by computer or by calculator. So think of this as just random digits. These are just digits that are randomly selected. Usually you can use a computer or you can use a calculator to help you with uh, selecting random digits. And this is what a random digits table looks like. If we want to simulate a coin toss, we can pick a number at random to start and then read across the table, letting an even digit represent heads and an odd digit represent tails. In this example, a baseball player has a batting average of 0 0.400. That is, his probability of getting a hit on any particular time at bat is 0 0.400. Estimate the probability that he will get at least one bat in his next three times at bat. Okay, so here we can use a random digit table to figure this out. Here a hit is represented by the digits 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so here, if you were to look at this random digit table that, that you see here, a 0, a 1, a 2, or a 3 appears in this particular situation 42 out of 50 trials. So an estimate for that probability would be 42 over 50. Okay. So here we're just using a random, random digit table and we're letting a hit be represented by either 0, 1, 2, or 3. Another example of a simulation is this. Suppose Lucy makes enough batter for exactly 100 chocolate chips and mixes 100 chocolate chips in the batter. If the chips are distributed at random and Charlie chooses a chip, a cookie at random from the 100 cookies, estimate the probability that it will contain exactly 100 chocolate chips. And let's say we want to call this event E. Let's say we can we construct a 10 by 10 grid to represent the 100 cookies Lucy made. Each square or cookie can be associated with some ordered pair, where the first component is the first is the is for the non is for the horizontal scale, and the second is for the vertical scale. And we can use a random digit table to create ordered pairs, and then place a tally on the grid to represent each chip. As you can see in this particular situation here, he want to estimate the probability that a cookie has exactly one chip by counting the number of squares with exactly one tally and dividing it by 100. So from this 10 by 10 grid, if you take the time to count this, you'll see that there are exactly 34 of these uh, squares that have exactly one tally in it. So the probability of event E happening will be 34 out of 100. So in other words, the probability that the cookie will contain exactly one chocolate chip would be 34 out of 100. Okay. And that will conclude this particular video on simulations.